I'm in the kitchen with my man today. It's all about me. Today, y'all, we're cooking up some of Bobby's favorite dishes. We're kicking it off with some garlic and lime baked tilapia. You like your fish to taste like chicken? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Fried chicken. And to go along with it, an almond rice pilaf. That rice is out of this world. Oh, my goodness. And some tasty carrot zucchini squash ribbons. Look, this is perfect. <laughs> and then to quench our thirst, y'all, we're gonna squeeze in a mint lemon lime aid. Is it good? That's refreshing. And for dessert, I prepare a cream custard sauce for our fresh fruit salad. Yum. Oh, Ooh. Ooh, that's good. Mm. Wow, that's great. Do you know how much I like fish? I'm, oh, I know totally you're a you're a fish nut, which is good. But lately, I'm enjoying pilafs and mushroom rices and things like that. So. Kind of predictable, but since I'm here with you today, I wanted to do some fish. Okay. And some rice. I'm, I'm with you. So, we're gonna start with an almond rice pilaf. They say that we should eat fish at least three times a week, y'all. Mm -hmm. And, uh, of course, fish is so plentiful here right. in Savannah. So, I am totally on with that. Yeah, and yep. I like easy white fishes like uh -huh. tilapia and mahi and things like that. That's what Are I'm you sure now. you came from my loin? I did come from your loin. So, tell me tell me how to get started here. What, um, what you want me to do? A couple of tablespoons of butter, please, okay. into that pot. Once you get that butter melted, we get the onions in and get it all kind of married together. We're going to put in the, uh, the almonds. I've just about got the onion okay. ready to go in there. That sounds great. I've got the butter melting. So then we're going to just put the onions in here that's with it. the butter. That's it. And we're going to get them together okay. and get those flavors going. And that's one of my favorite things is the okay. smell of an onion. Don't you, don't you, don't you. I do. And that butter's oh, melted. In go the onions. Do you think I should use all these, Mom? Yes, or? yes, yes. You can't have too much onions. I agree. In they go. I'm like you, son. I love that smell. It's one of my favorites. And we're going to add about a third a cup of almonds. Okay. And just kind of brown them in there with the onions, you know, for a minute. And we're using slivered almonds. Right. And I just love the slivered versus the sliced. I do, too. It's going to be a third of a cup of almonds, then one cup of long grain white rice, add two cups of chicken broth. Uh, what I've heard you say to other people and what you've taught me is go by the recipe the first time you make something. Mm -hmm. But then after that, do whatever you want to. So there I like to, I like to experiment. And, there you and get, go. You know, try anything. Because uh, you told me that if it's not good, then you can just give it to the dog. And that's exactly right. And you don't have a dog. I don't have a dog. <laughs> so it's perfect. So everything's delicious. <laughs> everything's delicious. <laughs> I've never in made your a house. bad meal. It's perfect. Y'all should come over and eat. It's great. Let's make okay, some fish. Son. You want to? So we're gonna turn that down on low, and About it's minutes. gonna take 15 to 20 minutes. <clears throat> And we're gonna have a nice pot of rice. Yep. And there's some beautiful tilapia here to go with that. Let's see. I love tilapia. Me too. Um, it's a nice, mild white fish. It kind of reminds me a little bit of flounder. And this is farm raised fish. Mm -hmm. Some fishes uh, will flake and break apart on you, Not but that. tilapia won't. And it's just one of my favorite fishes. I think it's one of the easiest to cook. Mm -hmm. So we've got Try like some tilapia. We've got there. four uh, fillets here, uh -huh. six to eight ounce fillets, mm -hmm. and these things. Um, you can see I, how they're they're strong. They're fir they're real firm. It can take a lot of a beef. <laughs> yes, it can. Well, that's your piece. <laughs> Put that on a different plate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you want me to season I'm this kidding, up? I'm kidding, but son? seriously. You're kidding, but seriously. Yeah, I do want to season it up. Now, I'm going to add a little salt to both sides of the fish, y'all. If you don't put enough salt on fish, it's very bland and... Uh, or or fishy, which is, you know, ironic. You're yeah. Fish, Some but. people like fishy fish. <sighs> you like your fish to taste like chicken. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fried chicken. <laughs> I'm uh, zesting a lime over here, because okay. today we're going to use... I'm probably going to squeeze a little bit of juice on it, okay. but we're going to use okay. zest as well. So if you want to start grabbing any of this and put it on there, feel free. Okay, good. Give me a little bit coming. Doesn't that green look pretty? It does. It's beautiful. Pretty on that fish. Now, how are we going to cook this? We're going to bake it. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I would prefer to cook this on? If you have no problems with it, uh, my piece of cast iron. Okay, that would be great. Now I'm going to add some cooking spray so that the fish won't stick when it starts to cook. That weighs six, eight pounds. Yes, That's a and, really sturdy. You know, it'll be around. It'll be around. Longer than you and me. Oh, when we're long gone. So. All right, well, I like it. I like that idea instead of baking it in. Okie doke. 
now you could do this fish a few different ways though. You could do it on the on the grill if you had a grill basket that holds Absolutely. fish and scallops and, and shrimp and things like that. Um, you could just do it in a pan. That's how I do it oftentimes at my house. Bobby adds a little bit more lime zest and I top it off with some fresh lime juice and just a wee bit of cracked black pepper. And I think it's ready to go in the oven. Okay. You want to use some butter? Yes. Let's use, let's use a little bit of butter. That, right. fi that fish is good just like it is, but we'll put a pat on each piece. Okay, that? that sounds good. Buttery fish. Yeah. Perfect. Yum. I love it. Uh -huh. And there's yours. <laughs> Bobby. Oh, I love it so good. I'm playing. All right, we're going to, well, I've used the butter oh, though. Yeah. Now we got to do something with it. I'll pat. I'm getting it, I'm getting it. The, uh, this fish is going to bake at 375 for like 8 to 12 minutes. It's okay. going to be pretty, pretty easy. Yeah. Can you get the oven to for me? It's take long, yes. And there you go. <laughs> Coming up, Bobby and I slice up some vegetable masterpieces. Love it, love it. I love it. Then we sample the goods. Out of this world. And later, Bobby chops us up some fruit while I whip up a surprise sauce to top it all off with. We're going to enjoy that fruit. I so hope y'all are enjoying the show. And if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. And we'll be right back after the break. vegetable that I want to do today is your uh, zucchini and squash ribbons. Okay. So I'm peeling off some little strips here. But we're going to do them on the mandolin. Well, mandolins scare me. I, I, don't, I don't like them. I'll let you do it. Well, you know, as long as you use your your safety guard, son. Mm -hmm. uh, There's a safety guard right there. Which is this. They really can be very, very safe. I'm going to show you how on a mandolin you can certainly use a peeler. So So I'll be chopping these two cloves of garlic over here. <laughs> if you want to tell me how to do that whenever you get done. No, son, but I mean look how easy You're right. I'm that kidding. I'm, is. I'm, I'm, I'm being smart with you, Mama. And very consistent. The way it's set though, this is set a little on the thick side. Right. And I think that what we need to do, son, is is set this where it's thinner because I really want these as thin as a ribbon. Mm -hmm. I'm going to see if I can take it a little <laughs> bit thinner. <laughs> Look, this is perfect. I just don't have a man one, Mama. That's what it is. I don't have one. <laughs> well, you know what? That's all right. Got a as nice I, drum set. <laughs> I, you know, speaking of drums, for Christmas, when you were a little boy, you got a drum set, and I've got a picture, son, of you in your pajamas. Playing the drums? Playing the drums. <laughs> and you did finally get you a nice set of drums, did you? get a nice set. You? Yeah, I did. I, I, never, I never got real, real good, but I got me a nice set. I saw you playing the drums before. I can play a little bit. All right, now look at these. Aren't these nice? Those are, yeah. really are. Now I'm gonna peel our carrot, like I said, you can use any kind of vegetable that you want. These are these are great vegetables with fish, though. If I'm eating fish, I love to have oh, zucchini gosh, yes. and squash. And yes. Those are great. All right. So let's see what I can do with this carrot. See if I can make carrot ribbons. Got the garlic just about ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and get this sauteing with some butter for your veggies, OK? Okie doke. And you know what? I don't need a bunch of carrots. Just, just enough to give it some color. So how's that? Do you like that? It's beautiful. That's perfect. Just enough. All right. Here comes the garlic, and I'm going to saute it in two tablespoons of butter. Let's put our carrots in first. You want to? Because mm -hmm. I think those will take a little longer. So like a medium heat? Yeah. I'm going to chop some uh, well, parsley well, for the rice. Okay? Oh, okay. All right, Bobby. I think I'm going to go ahead and toss in our squash and zucchini. All right. Oh, 
looks good, good, good. Yes, it this does. This is going to be delicious it's, with that fish you've cooked. It's smelling real good in here. Isn't it smelling good? All right, now, is there any particular seasonings you want me to put in this? A little bit of salt and pepper, and that's it. I'm going to put in a little bit more butter and a dash of pepper. I've chopped up a little fresh parsley. Add that in. Which, you know, just gives it that beautiful green color. I think if we add a little butter to that. Okie doke. Help us you out. don't have to twist mommy's yeah, arm. Yeah, I know, right? Okay. Your wish is my command. Fresh pat of butter right on top. And cover this back up. Looks so it looks good. It does. It looks perfect. And look at these beautiful vegetables, Bobby. They look great. So we're going to take that lime flavor that Bobby's got going on, and we're going to bring it all the way through to our vegetables. It just, it doesn't hurt anything. Yeah, no, I mean, no. I... Love it, love it. I love it. Why don't too. you chop me up a little bit of parsley for this, too? Okay. All right. And that'll give it a nice little pop for color. All right. Because, you know, we, we first eat our food with our eyes, y'all. You've been telling me that forever. That's, that's one of the most important things, in my opinion. Yeah. We pay a lot of, of attention to detail because of that. And, and that is, if, I, if there's one uh, phrase that I've passed down to the people, you eat with your eyes first. So food's got to look good, and the rest takes care of itself. That it looks great, right. son. How about tossing that over here in your veggies? And once that's in, I'm going to add some cracked black pepper. Is this OK? Can I go ahead and pull the fish out? Yeah. Let's get that fish out, Bobby. Doesn't that look delicious? That looks and smells so good. Oh, my good. goodness. You can just slip it right, right there, front. son. Be easy for us to reach. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And I'm going to start plating. Doesn't that look delicious, y'all? Be so good. Mm. Oh, mm. cool. That rice is out of this world. Oh, my goodness. That almond in that rice is just right on top. How time. great is that fish? That fish is seasoned perfectly. Mm. <clears throat> and y'all saw that I put a lot of lime on there. Bobby? I used a lot of lime, and I used a lot of lime zest. But it's not overpowering in, in any way. Out of this world. And son. doing it on the skillet made it even better. Out of this world. <laughs> Out of this world. Coming up next, it's a fresh fruit salad with the easiest topping ever. That's great. Mm. And later, a lemon lime with a twist. That mint flavor will just explode throughout our lemon lime hope y'all are enjoying the show and I want to hear from you. Tell me what recipes or videos you'd like to see me make by just leaving a short comment below. Now let's get back to the show y'all. Bobby, the next recipe we're going to make is from yours and Jamie's cookbook. That's right. And it's a creamy custard sauce. Uh, we did this one for, for you. fresh fruit. <laughs> if you did. <laughs> So if you would separate the eggs for us, <laughs> and um, <laughs> it's an egg separator. Well, you, you want to see it in action? Yes, I love it. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's going to take. Your... You got to fill it up though. It's going to take a few eggs before well, we start no, doing it. No, you can tilting. Now I'm going to get started over here on our custard. We'll get two in there. Okay. <laughs> Look, there it comes, Bobby. And I'm going to use two thirds a cup of sugar for our custard. <laughs> I know I love it, I love it, do you not love it? Hey y'all. <laughs> it reminds me of your brother when he was a little boy. Yeah. He was born with a runny nose. I think this person right. has a cold. I'm Some gonna bad cold in there. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna stir in one and a half cups of milk. I'm gonna mix the milk and the sugar together. Bobby's going to whip up the yolks. I'm going to let you work on the uh, custard sauce, and okay. I'm going to go ahead and start cutting some fruit. This okay. is not going to take but a second. Our milk and sugar. 
It's getting warm, so I'm gonna start just tempering our eggs by adding a little bit of our hot mixture. Move that stuff over here close to me. Okay. I like you close to me. This is tempering nicely, Bobby. So that goes back in my pot. And I'll need to cook this for five minutes. Aren't those peaches beautiful? Fresh Georgia peaches. Yes. I want to pay close attention to my custard. Uh, I'm going to stir it constantly until it gets thick, because I don't want it to stick. OK, Bobby, our custard is ready. I'm going to cut off the heat. And I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of butter and a little bit of vanilla. I'm going to put like a half a teaspoon. And we're going to let that cool. And um, next week, when Bobby is through filling up that bowl. <laughs> next week, is that what you said? Yeah. <laughs> we're going to have some fruit and custard. Look at these beautiful blackberries. Oh, they're beautiful. Gorgeous. You want Yes, I love blackberries, and I especially mm. love a blackberry in a cobbler. Mm -hmm. That blackberry is so good and so, so tart good, so and fresh. sweet. And listen, Bobby, a while ago, I uh, remembered that I had yeah. some cantaloupe mm -hmm. in the fridge. Well, that would sure save me some time. Yeah, so why don't you throw <laughs> the cantaloupe All right. in there? All righty. A couple of okay. blueberries in there as well. Yeah. Mm. Here, Bobby. Taste this, son. <laughs> Taste this. It's hot now. It's hot. Mm. Ooh, that's good. Mm. Wow, that's great. You know what? Wow. Try it like this, then. What, son? Now, it's hot. It's hot. Mm. So we're going to chill this. Mm. Bobby. That's good. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry, that, that's good. Isn't it yummy? All right, I'm going to just pour a custard through here, Bobby. Oops, excuse me, son. And just strain it, make sure it's free of any lumps. And then we're going to chill this, and we're going to enjoy that fruit. I'm looking forward to that. And that custard. I, I adore kiwi. You know, and kiwi is so very good for you. We're eating healthy today. We are, aren't we? We'll be back in a minute. Coming up next, y'all, we prepare a thirst-quenching mint lemon limeade. That's refreshing. I so hope y'all are enjoying the show. And if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. And we'll be right back after the break. Y'all, I'm in here in the kitchen with one of my favorite boys in the whole entire world, Bobby Dean. You're a lucky duck, ain't you? I'm a, so <laughs> a lucky duck. No, I think I uh, And today is all about the Dean's dining and Sharing yes. some things? Yes. And what are you fixing to share with us now? A real simple little lemon lime. It's a lemonade, basically. And this recipe calls for a third of a cup of fresh mint leaves. Mm -hmm. And you are using the juice from three limes, mm -hmm. the juice of four lemons. All right, That's so exactly we're going to muddle the sugar and the mint first. Is that correct? That's right. Now, how much sugar? So a quarter cup of sugar. Let's toss in the mint, and we're breaking up those mint leaves so that that mint flavor will just explode throughout our lemon limeade. All right, so son, if you will. Ready for that cup add, of juice? Uh -huh. Now remember, this is the juice of three limes and four lemons. And now we're going to add the rest of our sugar. Three quarters of a cup. Now, it's actually a half because we muddled our mint with a fourth of a cup already. Stir this and let that dissolve into that juice. So eight cups of cold water, y'all. And I'm going to keep stirring so that sugar will dissolve. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cut us a little Wet slice of lemon. Of and I'm going to reach in here and get us a 
another piece of mint to go on top. Perfect. And here we go. This is gonna be delicious with that fresh fruit and that custard. All righty. Just go down here, son. Look okay. how pretty that is. Mm-hmm. Is it good? That's refreshing. You wanna do the custard first? Yes. Son, pop up on the stool. All right. And I'm gonna get our custard out. Oh my goodness, this custard's just beautiful. And I'm gonna just pile us up some fruit. Go. Look at this custard. Shoot, Joe. Doesn't that look good? It does look good. You know what, son? I set the tallest <laughs> cup in front of me, so I'm going to change right. with you. There's your napkin. This is it's all just, my stuff. How you like just that? Just you and me, son. Mm -hmm. I love it when it's all your stuff. Mm. I'm very proud of you and Jamie. How do you do, Mom? Oh, yeah, custard's oh, so good. Oh, Bobby, the recipes are wonderful. Thank you, Mama. And you know we always, always send them what, son? A mouthful of fruit. <laughs>